Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, firstly, I want to apologize for how I look. I just got out of the shower um, and I'm waiting for my hair to dry so that I can go run some errands. But today I wanted to talk about um, a product that I use in my hair um, for when I'm going to be washing my hair. Um, but first I want to just mention that I am not sponsored in any way, shape, or form by the product that um, I'm going to be talking about. Um, so yeah, let's get started. Um, I wanted to talk about these, this product called Cantu. Um, hopefully you can see that all right. Um, it is a leave-in conditioner um, that is just kind of like a cream, kind of. You can see that I'm almost done with it. Um, it's a leave-in conditioner that you use like after you wash your hair. Um, I bought this probably a month or two ago. Um, I'm just always looking for new things to use in my hair once I've like washed my hair to just kind of leave it soft, um, which is what this is supposed to do. is supposed to leave moisture um, in your hair to leave it soft and manageable. Um, so I was kind of excited to try it because it's shea butter and it's a leave-in conditioner. And um, I got this at my local Walgreens for I think maybe six-ish dollars. Um, it's kind of the only place that I've seen it. Maybe wherever you live. Um, it could be in like any drugstore, any department store. But I got mine at Walgreens for like six-ish dollars or so. Um, I was really excited to use it. So the next day after I bought it, I decided that um, like I was really excited. I wanted to use it. So I got in, you know, washed my hair. Um, you know, I let it like towel dry. Um, which is kind of, they give you a few different directions. Right here on the back. I know you can't see it or read it, but there's a few different ways of um, being able to use it. I did what they call daily styling, which is just using um, what they call a generous amount in your hair after um, when your hair is like still kind of damp from the shower before you do any styling or anything to it. And um, so I put it in my hair and was kind of excited to use it to see how my hair would come out afterwards and so I put it in and I comb my hair like I'm like you're supposed to with this and um it just you know my hair dried and then I noticed it was kind of kind of greasy kind of not what I was expecting out of this and um I just I waited like an hour or two to see if it would get any better to just kind of let it sit and it just really didn't didn't do much other than leave my hair extremely greasy and for my type of hair right now is wet but um it's it can be kind of dry but right now where I live in Vermont um we're in fall right now and you know it's that time of year where my hair is starting to get a little bit kind of like dry because it's not it's not summertime anymore and we got like we can have heat going some days and so anyways um it just didn't do what I was expecting it to do um I just wasn't thrilled with it and so I ended up having to get back in and wash my hair out because it was just so incredibly greasy and just really didn't do what I was wanting it to do um so I kind of Next time I got in the shower to wash my hair, which I do every two, maybe three days if my hair is really good, but usually every two days I wash my hair. Um, now this stuff is good for um, color treated hair. Um, if you have permed or relaxed hair, it's good for that too. Um, you can't tell right now, but my hair is dyed kind of a reddish color. But, you know, when I wash my hair, it's kind of dark, so you can't really tell, but 
Um, so the next time I got in the shower, I decided to give myself a few extra minutes beforehand. I put this in through probably that much of my hair on the bottom. Um, just kind of worked it in a little bit and just let it sit for probably 10, maybe 15 minutes. Um, I just was kind of experimenting a little bit to see if it would work this way. No, they don't say to do it beforehand. They say like to not rinse it, but considering it didn't work for me before, I was like, I'm going to try it my way just to kind of see if it'll work any better for me. Um, so yeah, I put it in and let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and then got in the shower and do what I normally do in the shower, just shampoo and condition my hair. Um, and then let my hair kind of air dry afterwards. And I noticed that it worked really, really well doing it that way. Um, again, this is how I do it. Um, it doesn't say to do it this way. But again, this is just how I did it. So I left it in before, you know, did all my stuff and then let my hair kind of air dry. And then I used a straightener and it made my hair super soft, um, really shiny, just kind of how I was expecting it to work. Um, the original way, which was doing it after, not before the shower. So um, I've been using it like that since. Um, not all the time, but like once or twice a week, I will do it before I shower, just kind of let it sit in my hair and it really works that way for me doing it beforehand. Um, and that's just how it works for me. And it does leave my hair like super shiny and soft. And this product does not have any like overpowering smell. Um, it's shea butter, so it smells kind of nice. Um, I think with every person it would smell differently with how it like reacts to your body. Um, but for me it smells like really nice and just, it works good. And as you can tell that there's hardly any left, um, because I like to use probably a little more than I should, but I do have thicker kind of hair. So that's why I use a little more. Um, but I do kind of recommend it to people. Um, would I buy it again once this one is gone? Like in the immediate future? Probably not right now. Would I ever buy it again? Probably. But um, I do like it. You know, I'm still kind of, like, looking for something that would work really, really well, um, like, afterwards. But, you know, this is really good before the shower. So, if you're interested in it, I would love, um, to hear how it works for you. Um, you know, like, if you do it before, if you do it after, um... Maybe it depends on the different type of shampoo and conditioner you use, um, which I usually switch shampoo and conditioner all the time um, just because I like to try different kinds. There's always new stuff coming out. So I've tried it with a few different ones, and for me, leaving it in after didn't really work, but beforehand it did work well. So if you... If any of you guys have tried it before, I would love to hear how it worked for you. And um, if you haven't tried it and you're kind of curious about it, I would definitely recommend getting it, trying it. I would love to hear how it worked for you. Um, so yeah, if you would like more videos like this, please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be doing more videos like this in the near future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.